Good evening. I'm spot on weather meteorologist Matthew Euler, and we're going to talk about the short range forecast this evening, 13 June. There is an image, an image from my artistic daughter. She has come up with a logo for spot on weather. I'm going to zoom in on it. There it is, a little magnifying glass there over the top of it. We do have a little bit of lightning um, from some of the clouds here. There's a little bit of clouds here up on the uh, top of the picture. So uh, I'm very happy to be able to display that tonight. So now let's go right into the forecast and let's take a look what's going on. Currently uh, on the infrared satellite image, valid time uh, basically 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time this evening, uh, what we have going on is a lot of convective activity and thunderstorm development here as denoted by these brighter white colors on the infrared image. So there's thunderstorm activity back to the west. There's a little bit to the north of us here in Virginia Beach, Hampton Road Cities. Skies are mainly clear at the present time. There are some wispy high clouds out there, um, with, but most of the thunderstorm activity remains to the west today. All right, and then local observations as of basically 8 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. What we have going on, we have uh, Norfolk is still 88 degrees with a dew point of 66. Relative humidity of 48% and the wind is southwest at 17. Barometric pressure 29.93 and falling. Virginia Beach partly sunny. Uh, temperature right now 86 with a dew point of 65 with relative humidity of 49%. Southwest wind at 12 miles per hour and at 29.93 inch barometer and falling. Newport News sunny 86 with a dew point of 68. Relative humidity of 54%. Southwest wind at 10 miles per hour. 29.94 and rising on the barometric pressure. And there's also Norfolk Naval Station as well as Langley Air Force Base for this uh, present time. So it's a very warm evening out there. Uh, what we're going to look at now is the forecast for tomorrow, Wednesday 14 June. Um, some of the key highlights. So what I'm doing on the forecast tonight is on the left hand of each screen I'm going to show you the temperatures at 5,000 feet above the surface. Um, these, let me zoom in on it so you can get a look here for references. Uh, the purplish areas, the red areas, these are your hottest temperatures as indicated on the scale here. This is degrees Celsius on the bottom. Um, so the purple would indicate a temperature of 30, between 30 and 34 Celsius here over the desert southwest. So the purples and reds are the warmer colors on the scale as you can see right here. And then the blues and the lighter greens up here in the northern latitudes are the cooler temperatures. All right, so starting off with tomorrow, looks as if most of the heat is going to be confined to the Mexican uh, area into the desert southwestern area. Uh, there is a little warmth. We are pretty warm ourselves here. You can see the orange color spreading all the way across from Minnesota, Michigan, all the way over to the mid-Atlantic coastline. Um, on the surface, what we're looking at is a cold front that's going to approach the Hampton Road cities from the north. Um, again, as I mentioned in yesterday's video, this is known as a backdoor cold front. Why is it backdoor? Because it actually comes from an opposite direction, um, from the northeast, whereas most cold fronts in the northern hemisphere will actually come from the northwest, this direction, this way. But in this case, the front's more elongated more northwest to southeast and it eventually comes and moves from the northeast towards the southwest. So that's why it's known as a backdoor cold front. All right, and with this backdoor cold front in the area tomorrow, what we can expect is an increase in afternoon showers and thunderstorms around the area. So we are expecting a, a very warm day once again, high temperatures in the low 90s. And then we do expect some afternoon thunderstorms at some point to be scattered around the area. Looking at the forecast for 15 June, the heat continues to remain concentrated over the same areas. Uh, we're looking at some hot, hot temperatures basically over the southwestern United States, cooler temperatures across the northeast and the mid-Atlantic. And the cold front, basically as it moves through tomorrow, after it moves through tomorrow, by Thursday, it's going to stall along the Virginia-North Carolina border. And whenever you have a front in the atmosphere, that is a lifting mechanism especially if you have very warm air. So we expect some more showers and some scattered thunderstorms to be in the area as that frontal boundary stalls out. Looking at Friday to end your work week, the 16th of June, we have the heat still concentrated in the same areas. 
And that heat has not spread eastward or northeastward at this point. It's remaining generally over the southwestern United States. We still have a chance of scattered showers and thunderstorms in the area to end your work week. And at this point in time, we expect the frontal boundary basically to dissipate or what's known as wash out. And with that case, in that case, what we're going to have is you will see here soon on the next couple charts, the Bermuda Azores high is going to back up and it's, there's going to be some ridging into the eastern United States. We will have a return to more south southwesterly flow come Friday and increased temperatures and humidity levels will return with those scattered showers and thunderstorms on Friday. We do have to expect high temperatures on Friday to move up into the upper 80s again. For Saturday, so what's the plans for your upcoming weekend? Do they involve outdoor festivals around the Hampton Roads areas? All right, well, let's take a look to see how the weather is going to, how it's going to affect your plans. So as we look at the temperature scale here uh, on the left, again, very hot temperatures continue to remain over the southwestern United States. We do have a little spread of the heat now northeastward towards the Midwestern U.S., Missouri, into parts of Indiana, southern Illinois. So the heat does start to spread a little bit to the northeast at this point in time. Um, as far as our sensible weather, what type of weather we're going to expect here at the surface, in addition to the warmth and the high humidity, we are going to have more of a scattered showers and thunderstorms once again for Saturday, as denoted, denoted by this green color on the chart. And then on Sunday to end your weekend, uh, you'll notice that a little bit of cool down occurs. So what happens uh, by the end of the weekend is we're going to have a trough of lower pressure or these cooler temperatures, upper low situated there north of Lake Superior. And what we'll have is some northwesterly flow. There will be a frontal system that moves through the Midwest towards the East Coast. And at this point in time, the warmest temperatures remain out ahead of the cold front, just extending from Kentucky into West Virginia, Pennsylvania, New York State, up into New England on southwesterly winds at this point. But we are going to have a trough starting to carve itself out over the eastern United States. So a cool down is in store for the Midwest by Sunday. As far as the surface back here in southeast Virginia, uh, here is the Bermuda High denoted by these black lines, which are your isobars, lines of equibarometric pressure. And as the flow around the high typically goes in the northern hemisphere, it goes clockwise. So we get more of a south-southwesterly wind flow. So the short range final thoughts tonight are hot and humid conditions expected through Wednesday through tomorrow with high temperatures in the upper 80s to lower 90s and low temperatures in the lower 70s. So it's not going to get very cool tonight on Tuesday night into Wednesday morning. Scattered showers and thunderstorms will occur Wednesday, especially in the afternoon as the greatest heating of the day occurs along with the movement of a backdoor cold front through the area that acts as a lifting mechanism, a, a uh, line of convergence as it moves through, as that warm, moist, humid air will then want to rise along that boundary. Uh, cooler on Thursday with the front just to our south along the North Carolina-Virginia border. We are expecting a uh, wind shift more to the east-northeast on Thursday, and that'll be blowing in off the water. So that will result in highs dropping all the way from down to near 80 degrees on Thursday. So it will be a nice little cool down. Scattered thunderstorms over the weekend as a stalled frontal boundary lingers around the area. So we cannot rule out those scattered thunderstorms over the upcoming weekend. There's no tropical cyclone activity or development expected in the western Atlantic over the next three to five days. We are still watching the Yucatan area early next week. Um, and just north of that into the western, the western Gulf of Mexico for possible development. Um, so we'll keep an eye on that. The models have kept similarities. It's very similar location and positioning of the system if it does develop. Keeps it basically right along the Mexican coastline in the western Gulf of Mexico. At this point in time, it does not look like it's going to be a major hurricane threat for any of the Gulf Coast area. But stay tuned because these things can change. As the steering currents and the atmosphere change, so does the direction of tropical systems. All right, so that wraps it up for this evening. Um, I hope you enjoyed this presentation. Thank you for watching. And remember, we're spot on weather. We'll keep you covered. And with spot on weather, if we're not spot on, we're not doing it right. Have a great Tuesday evening.